Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Slideshows are a fun way to share your photos with others. You can add text, interesting transitions, and audio files to make a truly impressive slideshow. Photoshop Elements 13 has made several significant improvements to slideshows. Note that if you open a slideshow that was created in Photoshop Elements 12 or earlier, Photoshop Elements 13 will offer to automatically convert the old slideshow to the new slideshow format so you can play it in Photoshop Elements 13. Slideshows can be created from either photos that are selected within the Organizer window or from currently opened photos within the Photo Editor window that are shown within the Photo Bin. Note, however, that photos within the photo editor that have unsaved changes will not be included within the slideshow unless you save those changes first. To create a slideshow from the organizer window, open the organizer window and select the pictures to add to the slideshow. Then click the Create button in the shortcuts bar and choose Slideshow from the drop down menu to launch the Slideshow Choose a Theme window. Alternately, to create a slideshow from multiple photos opened within the photo bin in the photo editor window, click the Create button in the shortcuts bar and then select Slideshow from the drop down menu to first load the organizer and then open the Slideshow Choose a Theme window. After opening the Slideshow Choose a Theme window, click the Slideshow theme that you want to apply from the listing shown and then click the Next button in the lower right corner of the window to prepare, launch, and play the selected photos in a slideshow. As the slideshow is playing, you will see a toolbar at the bottom of the slideshow that you can use to control its playback, edit the slideshow, save the slideshow, export the slideshow, or exit the slideshow. You can click and drag the small dot within the Slideshow Timeline Scrubber to rewind or fast forward the slideshow. You can click the Pause button at the left end of the toolbar to pause the playback. After it has been clicked, this button turns into the Play button, which you can click again to resume playback. After initially creating a slideshow, you can click either the Edit or the exit buttons within the toolbar when the slideshow preview is playing to close the slideshow and display the slideshow builder window. Editing a slideshow within the slideshow builder window will be discussed in the next lesson. Within the toolbar that appears when the slideshow preview is playing, you can click the save button to open the elements organizer dialog box where you can enter a name for the slideshow and then click the save button to save it. After saving a slideshow, clicking the Save button will simply save any unsaved changes from the Slideshow Builder window. To open the Elements Organizer dialog box again after saving it, click the drop-down button at the right side of the Save button and then choose the Save As command from the pop-up menu that appears. You can also export a slideshow by clicking the Export button in the toolbar that appears when the slideshow preview is playing. You can select either the Export to Local Disk or Facebook command in the pop-up menu that appears to either export the slideshow to your computer as an HD MP4 video file or export it to Facebook. If you select the Export to Local Disk command, the Export dialog box will appear. Type a name for the slideshow video into the file name field. The default folder into which to save the slideshow will be shown in the Location section. To choose a different location, click the Browse button to open a Browse for Folder window where you can select a new destination folder and then click the OK button. Use the drop down in the Quality section to select the HD quality of the video that you want to produce. Then click the OK button to export the slideshow to a video file. Alternately, you can export the slideshow to Facebook by selecting the Facebook command from the pop-up menu. Photoshop Elements 13 will then prepare the video for uploading and ask you to log into Facebook in order to complete the upload. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.